What's up, everybody? I'm trying to get this thing settled. How's it going? This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist. Hope everybody's doing great. Uh, Instagram crew. Look at this hair, man. Look at this hair. Damn, I'm looking good. I don't know why I feel like I'm always looking good, but I am. So, guys. Today's Marketing Tuesday. For those of you who haven't joined us for Marketing Tuesday before, we talk about your marketing, your art marketing, okay? This is for artists or creative types, uh, craftspeople, and whatever, whatever you do. It doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. You could be selling cars and still this, you could benefit from this. <laughs> I, I, find it, I find it funny that a lot of people think that selling artwork is like this unique thing. Uh, no, it's not. It's like selling tomatoes. It's the same thing. I got my Starbucks. Mm. I know people get offended with this. They're like, so art selling art is so unique. It's like this thing, it's this twist and that twist. No, it's not. It's just, it's like selling tomatoes. It's the same thing. You figure out something that works and then you scale. And you figure out where you can scale. If you can't scale in the tomatoes, then you scale in, in how loud you are and how many places you can impact. But it's the same thing. It's about scaling. Something works, double up on it, triple up on it, you know, 10x, <laughs> 10x, <laughs> there's, a, there's, a, there's another, there's another shout out for Grant as if he needs one. <laughs> so here we go, guys, social media today, that's what I'm going to talk about today. Today we're going to talk about social media, what steps can you take to start getting your hustle on with social media, what things can you do? To get your artwork seen by people, to get your artwork purchased. A lot of people are like, I don't want my artwork seen, I want my artwork purchased. People are not going to purchase your artwork unless someone's seeing it, unless someone's looking at it, guys. Uh, the reason why I wanted to make this this today, this talk about social media, is because it's the place where most people are now hanging out, right? Everybody's hanging out where? On their phone. Everybody's in their phone. So the phone is... The place right now. It's the Coliseum. It's the place where everybody's getting entertained. It's the it's the new TV. It's radio, TV, Coliseum. It's everything, right? That's our phone. Later on, it's probably going to be, I don't know, a little glass somewhere, like optics in, inside our eye. Some, I don't know, whatever, right? But but that's what it is. So social media, guys. Why, why, first of all, why is it important that you need to jump on an every social media platform, every single one that you can? Why is that important? Many people, when we think about social media, how's it going, everybody? Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, uh, Martinez. Uh, yeah, Martinez again. Uh, Savar, Savar Moleon. How's it going, guys? Uh, why is it so important first to get to get started with 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 social media while well, everybody's there? Okay, that's the first one. Thank you so much for the hearts. I appreciate the hearts. Always appreciate the hearts. So number one, everybody, even even your grandma is on social media. Okay, everyone is on social media. That's the first one. Buena tarde. How's it going, Alvarez? Everybody's in social media. That's the first reason. That's number one. Number two, okay? Number two. Why is it that you have to jump on every single one of the social media platforms, okay? You have to jump on every social media platform available. Uh, why, why do people think... That you can only be on one and you should only be on one. And see, it's because everybody's trying to play the smart game. That's why. Uh, everybody's trying to play the, the, I'm being so smart. I'm so smart. I'm, I'm going to be, I don't know. I'm going to, dude, you, you can't be smart on that unless you got budgets. Unless you got big budgets. Then you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to go to Instagram. Or I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to do this, this one thing, right? Maybe you're a YouTuber. I don't know. How's it going? Maybe you're a YouTuber or something, you know? I don't know. And and you have all this time to create these professional YouTube videos, concise and whatnot and all that kind of stuff. Then, you know, by all means, do that. But most people, most people don't have that. And what I mean budget, you either have a lot of time, okay, number one, or you have a lot of income. And most people claim to not have neither one of those. 
most of us have a lot of time, uh, which is on we have time, which is don't have a lot of time, like like sitting there and, and fidgeting with something with a YouTube editing a YouTube video and that kind of thing. I don't want to derail my message here. We're talking about social media, guys, and the importance of being on social media for artists or anything that you do. Today's Marketing Tuesday. Today I talk about marketing. And I started with number one. Why Why social media, right? Why the importance of being on social media? Because everybody's there, including, I mean, everyone. Even, even grandma's there now, right? Everyone's on social media. So it's, the, it's, it's extremely crucial to be on social. If you're not on social media, if you're, just, if you're being used by social media and not using it, You've, you're you're on the on the other end. You're like you're being you're being hit, right? You're not the one hitting. You're being hit. If you're looking at the news and not creating news, you're being you're being punched in the nose. I'm sorry to say this, but that's the way it is. Uh, Megan says it's easy to get caught up in, in the busy work of it. It's so true. It's so very easy to get caught up. The thing, the trick here is to use it. And it's you're exactly right, Megan. You you hit us a, a very a very important point. Most of us get used by it. See, we get our this is my my phone. Okay, we get our phone and we're like, and and most people are like, what what are you doing? Oh, I'm getting back to this person. I'm getting back to this person. But, you, but you'll spend like 20 minutes, you know, or or a long time getting back to this person. No, it's like I finished a, a piece of artwork. Boom, take a picture of it. Boom, you know, two three seconds. And if you're doing hashtags. You know, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds. Time yourself. Da, 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 da. Whatever. No, don't let it go. Don't let it go beyond a minute, please. Like, don't go, let, it, let it go beyond a minute. That way you can use it. One of my mentors says you want to literally abuse it. You want to abuse it. Why? Because the currency, guys, in social media is attention. The currency is attention. Most people think that the currency is like, oh, the video has to be super awesome. The content has to be great. Most of us don't even know what our content is yet. Most of us have don't even have an idea what content we need to share. We just need to start sharing the process. How's it going, Shanaz? And 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 we get caught up in creating and trying to create the, the perfect content. And and that's not the way of doing it. I don't I don't believe that's the way of doing it. If that's your cup of tea, that's awesome. If you got time for that, if you if you don't know, if you can't procrastinate and you're good at doing it and you're talented with it, go for it. Just go on and jump on YouTube and just become a YouTuber, right? And that's all you do. That's awesome. We've seen people that do that. They do great. They create a lot of content. The thing is that I believe for true impact, for true impact to happen, you have to be everywhere. You have to, even if you're just touching it, you know, even if you're just touching it, if you just go there and put a photograph on your on your Put a picture of one of your artworks or, or you creating an artwork on your Facebook page. You just touch it. Come back the next day, you touch it again. Come back the next day, you touch it again and on and on and on. So number one, everybody's on social media. That's why you want to be there. Okay? Everybody. That's the most important thing. People, it, it, all, it all has to do with attention. Okay? We're all busy, but we can, we can, we can use social media and not be used by it see most most of the time we get upset because we get used by it we're looking at um, some funny cat video and we're like ha, ha 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 you know we spend there like who goes into black holes on youtube guilty who goes into black holes on instagram guilty i'm always working on it too guys it's not it's not just i'm not here sitting on a you know tower of judgment i go into black holes black holes are like when you're looking at something and all of a sudden it takes you somewhere else and before you know it you spend like 20 minutes on it and you don't even know why, right? And you're like, oh man, what what? I was I wanted to post a photograph of one of my paintings so that I can so that people can find me and find my link and go buy my stuff or maybe follow me on my you know Instagram or whatever. And all of a sudden you got lost for like 20 minutes looking at some I don't know cat <laughs> some cats dancing <laughs> or whatever. Or what are you looking at? So <laughs> everybody does that. The thing is, do not get abused by it. You you want to be the the. I mean, to to put it in this words, you want to be the, not just use it. You want to be the abuser. You want to be able to to use it so much that social media is like, please leave me alone. I have people telling me stop posting. This is not spamming. If you're posting the same thing, you're spamming. 
You're posting different stuff, invaluable stuff. What is valuable stuff? The way you create your artwork, your artwork, your your me your message, your vision. Maybe you shared a, bi a biography of a famous artist that you really like, and people that that you know that like your jam, they like that kind of stuff, and 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 you enrich their lives because instead of watching a cat video, they're looking at a biography by Monet. Maybe you know, I don't know why not. It's 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 valuable content. You're enriching people. You're touching people, and you're engaging with them in enriching in enriching ways. How is that enriching? How is that not enriching? What what would people rather playing Candy Candy Crush? No, like look at a painting by Berth Morisot or I don't know Van Gogh, and you know a little a little story, a little backstory by Van Gogh that you share, a little article, something that's enriching. Uh, Shana says thanks for your uh, advice. I'm so um, slowly. <laughs> Building confidence uh, by posting uh, bits and pieces on my in, in my Instagram, like small videos. Uh, I'm getting there. Awesome. Awesome. You want to be doing that. Why do you want to be doing that? Again, number one. Okay. I'm giving you guys three, three tips right here. Number one, because everybody's there. Now, number two. Okay. Uh, in social media, uh, you want to be able to use... Every single one of the platforms available. Every single one of the platform, platforms you can. There's a lot of people that are like, "Oh, I'm an I'm a YouTuber. I'm an Instagram guy. I'm a what, what's going to happen when YouTube is not the way that it is now, or what's going to happen when when Instagram's not the way it is right now, when it changes, or when Facebook changes, or let's not even go there because a lot of the gurus out there say that. So that's maybe that's one of the reasons I'm repeating it because I learned it from them. Okay. Let's not even say that because you could be like 10, 20 years on YouTube and, and may not never go anywhere and just morph into something cooler. Okay. One of the things, one of the reasons why it's because the more it's, it, it comes down to traffic. Most people want to get good at one thing. They want to, they want to assert themselves in a vertical, right? I talked about this in other videos. They're like, I'm going to become really good at creating portraits of cats and I'm going to do YouTube videos, right? And then they're missing out. They're like, yeah, but I'm becoming really good. I'm working with this 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 group of people. That's great if you nail it. Like if if you actually do that, it's great. If you actually become the famous, you know, cat portrait person and, and you have this YouTube blog that is just amazing and you have, I don't know, half a million or a million followers, subscribers, I guess. That's amazing if you do it, but most people don't do that. Most people, most most people, what we do is that we'll niche ourselves out so much. That we do nothing, and then the comp the the opposing belief of that, or I guess the yeah the other side of that is that oh people are shooting everywhere that they don't get focused, and then therefore they don't do one thing, right? I don't believe that's true. I believe that people never get enough momentum to begin with. They never get enough momentum on anything, much less on a, on a vertical. Most people don't get enough momentum to do anything. Like like we're. We're looking at our, our Facebook and, and we realize we only have like 300 people following us or or I don't know, those those people that have the most have like two, three thousand people following them, you know, on their Facebook fan pages or pages. Uh, by the way, if you don't have a fan page and you're an artist, I don't know what you're doing. You need to get yourself a fan page. Stop. Stop using your regular page only. Keep using your regular page, but your, your personal page uh, to engage in groups and whatnot. But but get yourself a, pan, a fan page so you can grow it. And if you need to put in some a little bit of money in there, you know, whatever you can to grow it, some Facebook ads or whatever, start putting some of that in there. Uh, go on YouTube and learn a little bit on that. And so you can get your crowd. You can start getting an audience, right? It's, it's, it starts working for you. Most of us don't want to do this type of things because we think that that it's expensive and it's not. You know what's expensive? What I've learned in, in, in six years being a full-time artist not being known is the most expensive thing that could happen to you. If you're in business and you're not known, it is the most expensive thing. It is better to spend the money, the effort, the time, because we either have two things, right? We either have time or we have money, one or the other. And I know I'm, I'm saying this and people are like, oh my God, talking about money. Yes, I'm talking about money. It's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of important. Uh, so, so we have two things. We either have time or we have income, right? And if, and if we don't have income, usually we have time. Right, because people are like, "Well, I'm too busy. I'm, you know, I'm doing all this stuff, and I'd rather pay someone." But if you're too busy and you can't pay some, pay someone, most likely you're not busy enough. It's just that yeah, you're overwhelmed. You're mentally overwhelmed. Most likely. <laughs> I'm sorry to put it that blunt. <laughs> I'm trying to help someone here. <laughs> 
The reason I'm saying stuff like this, guys, is because I've been in that boat. I've been on that boat. I'm still on that boat in certain aspects uh, of what I'm talking about. And I'm and I'm trying to drink my own Kool-Aid too. I'm trying to, as I'm telling you guys, I'm reminding myself, do but do do this, do that myself, not myself. Do this, do that. You have to, uh, uh, you know, spend more time on this. Stop, stop procrastinating on this kind of stuff. When I'm talking to you guys, I'm also reminding myself. It's like I'm having a chat with myself as well. I'm like, oh man, I forgot about that. Yeah, well, I'm going to make a note of it. Today I'm going to do that, that kind of stuff. So, Okay, so again, everybody's on social media. Get on every social media platform. You don't just want to go vertical. You want to go wide. You want to go wide. Once you figure out your message, once you start figuring out your where you're going to spend most of your attention, then you can start going vertical while going wide at the same time. That's what I've learned. That's what works for me. I, I, don't, I don't believe in the whole just going vertical. Just find that special niche. Everybody's trying to become like, like, like super smart. Put the muscle before, before that. And watch things roll for you. Watch things work for you if you just put the muscle before. Most of us are trying to be like like super smart, like super like, you know, like, oh, I'm going to figure something out. Oh, a new strategy, a new thing. And we're always looking for that low-hanging fruit, the new strategy, the new, uh, the new technique. And it really just comes down to hard work, guys. And those techniques do help, but they don't help if hard work is not backed, right? right? If it's not together. And usually those techniques come in, Whatever technique you know about, about social media and whatnot, usually they get fire underneath. They get like, you get power when you put in some income in there. Like, and they really take off. Most people, most people are not saying this. Most people are like, oh, you got to do it yourself. You got to do it yourself. But you got you to gotta get to a point where you can put a little bit of income in there. And then they just, they take off. They multiply. Uh, Shana says, I have a Facebook page, but I can only uh, post commissions, paintings. After I have finished them, because most are gifts. Oh, okay, get it. I got it. Yeah. Uh, why then use Instagram between as you advise? Because because you want to be able to know who you are. I'll, I'll, I'll explain to. I'll explain a little bit more on that. Megan says yes. Art is more of an emotional impulse purchase, and it's uh, it's hard to yeah, to interest people when you take a niche approach. Yeah. It's hard to interest people, and, and even if you take a niche approach, and that's your thing, like you're the person who paints purple cats, you know, on square little canvases. Let's say that you're that niche person. Even if that's it, you need volumes of people to get to, to, to see you so that, you know, you need, you need a thousand people to see you. And this is not, I'm not even talking about sales. This is just marketing. I'm not even in sales. You need a thousand people to see you so that you can actually talk have a dialogue, right? A little dialogue that a hundred of them stay there and look at you. And I'm, and I'm doing like big numbers, right? I'm doing 10%, right? You need a thousand people to see you, to see you jumping and painting and doing your thing, throwing your pitch so that a hundred people are like, oh yeah, let me see. Let me, let me pay attention to this guy or girl. Oh, okay. That's cool. Right? A hundred people will stay there and look at you. And if you have some sort of connection with them, whatever that is, maybe 30 at most of those people are like, I like what you're, I like what you're doing. And maybe two, three or five, maybe, maybe, right? And I'm going high. We'll purchase something. This is what we don't understand, guys. Like you need volumes of people. You need pools of people because most people are not ready to buy. One, two, they, they probably never heard of you. Three, they've heard of you, just not heard of you now. They know you, they know of you, they've heard your name. Oh, yeah, 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 I know that girl. Yeah, yeah, she does those purple cats and those little pink. Yeah, that's cool. But they're not thinking about you. When their pockets are burning, when, they're, when there's money ready to be spent, oh, Christmas is coming, I need a gift. They're not thinking about you because they don't see you often enough. They just know of you like I know of, and then I have to think of who I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that artist. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that artist. Why did I forget about that artist? Because I never see him. You know, I never see him. I saw him once. I really like the stuff. But but I have to remind myself. See, he's not being responsible and reminding me of him all the time. All the time. In different ways. Shana says, no, I said, uh, I said that's why I use Instagram. Oh, got it, got it. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were asking, why should I use Instagram? <laughs> I love that. That's why you use Instagram. Exactly, Shanaz. I, I apologize for that. I was like, Shanaz, come on. You know better than that. <laughs> uh, Megan says, what do you recommend uh, talking about in the content? I find my content interests other artists. What about those non-artists? Totally. I do that a lot too with artists. I find a lot of my content interests artists. Uh, non-artists, I'm going to give you guys some little tips right here, okay? Uh, again, well, this one, this one, <laughs> I'll, I'll go to that one. But when it comes to content for non-artists, it's, I mean, the world is your oyster. You're an artist, right? So you're like, how to, how to hang a painting, right? That's content right there. I'm going to hang a painting today in my studio or my home or my apartment, whatever, to show you guys how to hang a painting. Boom, a little video. Pass. You make a little, you, you you know, you hang a painting. It's about 64 inches high because it's got to be eye level. You know, if you, things you don't have to really do a research. Things things most of most of us know. You you guys you guys know so much. You guys have so much knowledge because we've acquired the knowledge right over the years. If you have to go do research about it, I would re I would really recommend not to be doing content on things that you have to re do research on because then that will slow you down and it will make you feel like oh man this is gonna take too long, right? But stuff that we know, for example. There's all this stuff that I know that I know most of you guys know. How to hang a painting. Boom, this is how you hang a painting. How to wire a painting. Boom, this is how you wire a painting. How do you uh, glaze a painting. Boom, this is how you glaze a painting. These are people that are not artists. These are people that like buy artwork, collect artwork. How do you choose the right frame for the type of decor you have at home? You know? Uh, how, what type of what type of framings? What type of mattings go well with with what type of furniture? You know, what is the Pantone or whatever the, the company the color? What is the color of the year? What is the color of the year? And 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 how to choose the right frame between uh, you know that that surrounds that color? If your home decor is you know around that color, uh, here's another one. It's it's infinite, right? What's provenance? A lot of collectors want to know that. What's provenance? How can you tell that a certificate of authenticity is, you know, it's more legit or whatever? And maybe you don't want to get into, you know, but stuff like that. But, but you know, does your painting come with a certificate of authenticity? How to ask for it when you, when you, when you talk to the artist? Uh, all the sort of little things, right? You create content. And then what you do, once you do that, you, you make a little article, two, three sentences, uh, two, three uh, paragraphs, two, three sentences per paragraph. Okay, and then you put it on LinkedIn. Boom, there it is. Okay, now you split that content. And then you get the same thing and then you put it on Facebook. You, you don't have to recreate content. You're just repurposing it. The same video, you repurpose it. And then what do you do? What my wife and I are going to be doing. You make these little blogs and then you talk about it in these blogs. And then what else you can do? You create a little... A little uh, podcast and they talk about the same thing you just repurpose it why because you're reminding people of your deal you're reminding people by giving them things that matter to them right in this case i'm giving you guys things that matter to you guys why because i'm an artist and i understand that these things matter if i'm an artist and i'm getting my ball rolling i care about marketing right and if i tell you guys Oh, marketing, by the way, guys, I know something about marketing. You know, my first year I started creating six figures, uh, you know, because I learned marketing. And this is how I'm going to share it with you guys. You guys are going to be like, oh, yeah, that guy's cool, you know. And maybe later on, who knows, maybe somewhere along the way, I know this artist. And then someone else is going to be like, oh, yeah, I know this artist. This guy's cool. And maybe someone will link, click into my link and be like, did I like this guy? I'm going to buy something from him, you know. And that's how it rolls. But it takes it takes volumes of, of, of energy. Uh, Megan says, I like time lapse since uh, people think it's uh, like magic. Totally. <laughs> Those time lapse videos. Anything and everything. You know, some people have asked me, like, like what, what should I do? Should I do videos? Should I do uh, blogs? Should I do articles? Should I do just photographs, like little memes or whatever? Whatever you're good at. I would recommend whatever you're good at and, and uh, whatever you can do quick. Like, you, you don't want to sit there and work on it all day because that's why we don't do it. You know, things that, like, are going to take us all day, like, like, oh, man, yeah, I wish I could do that. But I have to go do research on it and get the right camera and get the right lighting so that it looks like those are all perfectionist BS stuff, right? Whatever you can do quick. Like, if you're a good writer, write a quick, maybe not. Here's why. Because if you're a good writer, more chances are that you're a perfectionist and you're going to sabotage yourself. <laughs> so maybe, maybe not. Maybe if you're a good writer, don't write articles because then you'll stay there. 
If you're a good writer, maybe just do video. <laughs> do stuff you're not good at. <laughs> I'll take that back. Because, because you know, like, we tend to do that. If we're good at something, we'll we'll procrastinate there forever. We'll try to get it right. Why? Because we're being... Um, uh, uh, we're we're judging ourselves. We're judging our work, and we're and we're being critical, right? So we don't want people to. Oh, I don't want people to see that. That's why artists have such a hard time showing their work because they're being they're being critical on it. You know, if you ask a shoemaker, <laughs> I know I'm 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 I'm, fetch, I'm, 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 I'm far fetching. If you ask a shoemaker or a fisherman or someone else, someone that does something else, do do that painting. They'll be like, I don't know anything about painting. Just do it. They'll be like, yeah. There it is. Finished. Because they don't have an identity because they don't believe they themselves are artists. So they don't have an identity with it. Right? If artists do a painting, they'll be like, oh my God. Oh, the lighting, the shading. Oh, oh, I think I'm going to vomit. Uh, I can't take this anymore. I need a drink. <laughs> so, so because we're, we're, we're attached, that's why we have such a hard time. So if you're a writer, maybe you shouldn't be doing articles unless you learn how to overcome that. How to overcome that attachment and just let it go. The whole point is to do things that are quick, that are quick, 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 quick. Why? Because, because again, attention is the, is the, uh, one of my mentors calls it, attention is the holy grail, he says, in, on social media and everywhere, right? I, when it comes to marketing. Attention is the currency. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk talks about this, okay? If you guys haven't read about Gary Vaynerchuk, go, go read some of his materials. Don't just watch the YouTube videos and, you know, like, that's not really, like, like, like go deep on a material, right? Like, like, like read, read a book or, or, or study a course. Like, learn about it. Don't just, like, watch a little YouTube because you're going to get fragmented information. That's what's wrong with, with stuff. We get fragmented information when we don't go deep on someone. And then, and then we don't get it. Uh... Megan says, I find that the quicker you are, the more authentic it is. It's true. It's, it's, it's so true also in artwork. You know, it's, if you're quick, you're authentic. If you are, if you, if you take your time forever, you're not, you're, 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 you're procrastinating. You're like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, the quickness is a sign of, of being, of being true to yourself. Like, you know what you're doing. You didn't go and try to, to, uh, to please a crowd or to please yourself. You're just, you know the material, so you just, like me right now, I don't have to go somewhere and study this. I'm like, no, because then I wouldn't be authentic. I'm talking about stuff that I know, that I physically know, that I've gotten my hands on. And, and, and you know, that's, that's how I'm able to just, like, speak it out. <laughs> just throw the spiel out. Because, because I know this stuff, right? It's not stuff that I have to, well, let me go read a, a chapter before I talk to people about this. People are going to be like, dude, come on. No, it's stuff that I've done. I know Who's on, on, on uh, why, why is social media important? Because everybody's there. Uh, what social media should I use? All social media. And, and how, how often should I use it? Every second of the day. Now it's tricky, right? It's tricky to do this. Yeah, totally. Megan says it looks less, 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 uh, staged. And, this is what lets people uh, trust you and see you as a leader. Totally, totally. If you're just, you know, if, if, if you're reading something, if you're like, oh, let me talk to this crowd and you're like this and you're like, you know, it's, it's like, dude, no, come on. Like, that's why, that's why presidential speeches and all that, they're, they're like, they hide the paper, right? They're like this. And then they learn how to like, they, they talk like reporters. They learn how to look at you and kind of like glance and then boom and glance and, you know, because they, 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 it needs to somewhat. I don't know. Maybe I give a, a wrong uh, example with politicians, but but it gives some some of the. It makes you feel like, oh, okay. Well, they're not you know reading it barbatim. <laughs> so yeah. So the third one, okay, is how often should you post? How often, guys? This really depends on you. If you want to post often, you should post. You well, how often should you post? You should post every single chance you get. But it's tricky here. This is where it gets tricky. In order to post every single chance you get, your material cannot be the same thing over and over and over. Okay? You will have to have volumes of material and it has to be variety. Why? Because, because you're going to get people and not upset and not unfollow you. 
But it's just going to become repetitive. And then you're not really sharing anything at that point anymore. You're just you're just using the same three things and just posting them. Three things and posting them. People are not, people are going to be like, oh yeah, that's awesome. You're going to see people following you. And then they're going to be like, wait a minute. She just posted the same thing she posted two minutes ago. You know? And then that's when, that's when things go awry. That's when people are like, no man, I try posting all the time. Like you said, yeah, dude, but you got to do it with different stuff. Like one of it should be a video. Another one should be an article. Another one should be an Instagram post. Another, and, and they're, and they all have different, um, uh, different, uh, feelings to it right they all have different a different angle like how i talk here and how i show i i type something and how i do a snapchat it has a different angle it's still me but it has a different a little different angle right and and the material looks different so you want to be able to do you want to be able to change it up if you don't know how to do that it's because you haven't you haven't done it enough. It's not because it's because you don't know, but I don't want to say you don't know. You lack you lack you lack knowledge just because you know just because you're not I don't know you because you're not creative or whatever. No, it's because you haven't done it enough. The more you do it, the more creative you're gonna get. So stop start start typing some articles. Start doing some uh, just sharing. You don't even have to type it in the beginning. You can just I mean share someone else's. You don't you you know you can share like I don't know. The Met, the Metropolitan Museum has articles. I do that all the time on my Facebook page. I'll share something, you know, I'll be like, oh, just don't, just don't repeat them. Like share something on your Facebook page. And then you go and share, uh, uh, I don't know, an exhibit done by Cristo and, you know, Mary Jane, whatever. Oh, boom, you share that. You know, there's a new painting that came out by Chuck Close or that painting by by Da Vinci, and then you share that, and then you can ask a question. You can be, "What do you think about this? This painting sold for so many millions of dollars. What do you think about this in the art market?" You don't have to make it complicated, but, but it's sharing, it's sharing content that is valuable. Why valuable? Why? Because you're not sharing it to a bunch of carpenters. You know, you're not sharing it to a bunch of people who who sell real estate. You're sharing it to people who like art. So that's why it's valuable. Uh, yeah, totally. People will tune you out if you're doing the same thing. You got to change it out. Keep it fresh and interesting. Totally, uh, Shanaz. The thing about keeping it fresh and interesting, again, is uh, you want to be able... Why do I... My emphasis is in speed is because uh, we'll fixate on it. This is what happens. We'll fixate on it if we're not careful. So if you're like looking at, uh, at what to share... It's very easy to be like, oh, yeah, it has to be unique. And then you go down the rabbit hole. And once you do that, like, it's really hard to get out. You know, it's like, oh, what am I going to talk about? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It has to be unique. It has to be unique. And then, and then, see, we have, we have two problems. Most, it's not just two, but it's, it's two big challenges that happens a lot to people creating content. Oh, it got blurry. One of them, we want to be, we want to be technical uh, uh, capable, right? Yeah, your inner critic takes over for that's for sure. You want to be technical. You're like, oh yeah, I want to write an article, and then you get like technical about. I don't want to sound stupid, so you know, so I gotta write it really polite, really interesting, captivating. You know, well, well, I have to sound well spoken, like I'm so intelligent, and blah blah blah, and and the grammar has to be on point. And yes, all those things matter, but I really don't care. Like, I just, I need to just create it. Because I know that if I, I fixate on that stuff, I won't do it. Now, if you're really good at writing quick and efficient and you and you're, you're, you sound eloquent right off the bat, then that's you. But that's not me. If I try to sound eloquent when I'm writing, I'm just not going to write. You know, I can't do it. It's not me. I, I spent my time creating artwork, not learning how to write correct. But but I do write, right? So I'll be like, boom, 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 boom. Here we go. And this is why. One, two, three. Out, right? Why do I do that? Because for me, it's more important to get it out. Now, I get lashback from that, right? The critics are like, oh, my God, you can't even write, dude. Now you know me, right? <laughs> I don't like your article. I read your article and I didn't like it. Guess what? Now you know me. Right. So that's really that's the bottom line. You want people to know you, whether they like you or hate you. You want them to know you. You you want to, to again, it's that volumes of people. I'm sharing some really good stuff here, guys. This is stuff that it took me a long time to understand. 
And it took me a hard, a very hard time to, to incorporate it, to start implementing it. What I'm trying to say, start implementing it because the inner critic doesn't allow you to do that, right? What you want to do is, is get technical. And then if you overcome the technical aspects, if you're like really good at getting technical, now here comes the next criticism. Now you want to make sure that it's unique. You're like, oh, how can I make it unique? This is a bunch of bull, BS, <laughs> bull, <laughs> a bunch of BS procrastination. Like, yeah, get it somewhat good technically, get it somewhat good un in uniqueness, but don't hang up on it. Like, if if you could understand me this, if you could write an article and it's gonna take you three hours, don't write the article. Like, do something. Like, make make a painting. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to get to. Like, if if the article is gonna take you three hours to write, don't write it unless. Unless you're hoping that the article is going to take you three hours and then the next day it'll take you two and then the next day it'll take you one and then the next day it'll take you, I don't know, 20 minutes. And then, and then you know, if, if that's your aim, yeah. But if it's going to take you three hours, like don't even, don't even bother with it. Don't, don't write it. If you're going to do a video like this and you have to go get the right lighting and, and perfect audio and, and, and you have to go take speech lessons <laughs> and you have to you have to go lose some weight first <laughs> or you have to go do your hair like you know i understand but but it's all this perfectionist stuff right all this perfectionist stuff and like oh my god i have to go get wardrobe for my vlogs if you if you're going to do that don't 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 bother with it like go paint instead or go put something on facebook <laughs> Exactly, Megan. Exactly. That's what I've been telling people all along. And, and I, I mean, I've, I've spent some energy telling people this. People are like, oh, man, your stuff is not blah, blah, blah. Dude, it's because I'm an artist. Like, I'd rather spend those extra 20 minutes on my artwork than trying to please you on on, on this article or trying to please you or, or, or please my mind. On this photograph or you know like I'd rather I'd rather spend more time on the artwork so yes you want to create value but eh, eh, but you don't want to you don't want to focus on the shell focus on the value like get good value out get good value out like it's again you know it's one of those things it's you, you have to do it it's experiential that's why Babe Ruth said when he was asked I think he was asked like he 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 uh I don't know. He he had the the most home runs or something. He's like, I don't know, but he batted the most. That's what he answered. Something like that. Like like I was the one batting most. So it was it was obvious that he was going to have all those home runs, right? He was using the bat more than everyone else. So that's what I'm trying to get you uh, to understand, guys. If you guys want to be known, you got to use that bat more than everyone else. You got to show people what you're doing, what you're about. Uh, Megan says you can't beat you can't beat good valuable content. No amount of uh, fancy lighting or staging uh, will improve that content. Totally, totally. And people, people will, will, you know, like flies. They'll flock to to the light, and that's awesome. If you have the time, if you have an intern later on, I don't know that knows how to do that or yeah, can learn how to do that, and maybe that's a project that the intern will do for you in your studio. That's awesome. Get the person, or if you have time, if you if you somehow you know. You're like, you know what? I want it to look good. I want it to, you know, I want to really focus on this. Or, I, or I'm going to start. Here's the thing. When I say do it, I'm not saying do it do it ugly and keep it ugly. What I'm saying is st start it ugly. Start it, start it raw. And then, get, and then get better at it. Because you're naturally going to get better at it. It's like uh, Gary Vaynerchuk said when he first did the videos. He said, I look like one of those people in, in a cave. You know, like in, in, in like those, uh, what do you call them? The the soldier that got captured or something like that you know it was dark and it was like the the video was like super raw and i thought it was very interesting it's so true like the audio's off and everything like his first videos right and but that's how you get stuff started you know who's who started doing it right no one and then people that say that it's because they started practicing i don't know years before they they actually because they wanted to be professional bloggers so they started practicing and practicing and practicing and then, and then eventually they're like okay i'm ready to i'm ready to actually put this content out there but they are uh bloggers so you have to figure out what you are are you an artist are you a blogger what are you right if you're if you're a professional writer and 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 you need your stuff to be written, your articles to be written so well, uh, then that's what you are. You're a professional writer, and that matters for you, and that's cool. 
uh, and, and you need to do this, you know, structure your article and, you know, you have to, I don't know, sweat on it, <laughs> get everyone to read it, then that's cool. That's what you do. But make sure that you know who you are. Maybe you're not an artist. Maybe you're just a, you're a writer. You're, you know, you're, you're a, a, a very good writer. You're not prolific. You're not proficient because you, you're sweating on it, but you're a good writer. And, and, and if that's your thing, if it's going to take you a month or a week to write a good article... But it's going to it's going to make you proud and and it might get read by a lot of people. Then they know your place. You're a writer. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so there it is, guys. I'm gonna run them again. These three uh, tips for social media. Number one, why social media? Because everybody's there. Okay, everybody's in social media, inclu including your granny. Number two, what social media should I use? That's the wrong question. Which one should I not use? It's a little closer. You want to use all of them. All social medias. Even YouTube. YouTube is a social media. A lot of people don't consider that. All social medias. LinkedIn, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, whatever. Use them all. Find play, Find a place to put something in there. Okay? Every day. Not every now and then. Every day. Put something in there. Uh, it's it's going to take that, guys. I, I wish I could tell you... Like, this is a strategy for you to become famous. All you got to do is... No, like, it, it doesn't work that way. You got to use them all. Uh, and number three, uh, when should you post? You want to post You want to post all the time. If you have an autoresponder, I have autoresponders, okay, for certain things that I do. If you have autoresponders, then do that. Uh, learn how to use it. Don't repeat the same content because people will tune you out. People will just tune you out. And then no matter if you put a thousand in a minute, people will tune you out. That's spamming. So it's not going to work. It's got to be different content. So in order to post, see, you don't want to post content all the time unless you got volumes of content. So the very first thing you want to do before you even, even say, how often should I post? Well, how much content do you have? So if you don't have enough content, go make some more content or go get some more content you can share. Maybe you have certain pages that you look at. The Metropolitan Museum of Art is a page that has articles all the time. Uh, exhibits share some of that content it doesn't all have to be yours by the way this is called uh djing content or curation curated content uh those are some buzzwords for marketers you do that do that share some of mine too why not you know <laughs> while you're at it if you don't have content yet share mine <laughs> it's the same thing it's gonna be your face there and my content it's the same thing. Until you get some content, you know, you get some, some of your own content and you start sharing yours and then I'll share your content and then we'll help each other. All right, guys, take care. I will talk to you soon. I hope you guys like this. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. I always like to do this on TV. Yeah. <laughs> this is for 80s look. <laughs> yeah, guys, thank you so much. And uh, thank you for the hearts. Take care. Adios, amigos.